Hi Leo, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your Is It In The Cards Love Tarot reading for March 2023. This is a love reading for all Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to everybody for all the support. I send you love and appreciation right back to attract more love into your own lives. And if you are new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't fit, don't ever try to wedge yourself into it. Just come back in a couple of days and you can watch a new reading. Fridays are always a general reading, so those will bring in aspects of money, career, moving, travel, anything else you could ask about. Mondays are different every week. Today is the only week of the month that I do a love reading. Next week, it'll be something totally different. And please keep in mind, I'm reading the energies of the cards. So you can redirect your own energy if you don't like what it says. So with that, if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. What advice do you have for Leo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Leo need to know, please, for the best and highest good? of all concern with Leo to attract love. Love messages for Leo, please. All right, we will draw three cards to represent your energy, three cards for the person you're attracting, three cards on the advice. Your energy is the six of wands, 10 of cups. Not interesting, nine, 10, guys. We have 78 cards here. Their energy is the sun, the queen of swords, page of cups. The advice is the king of pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands. I like it. Um, you've got a great reading for love. We've got Leo here. We've got quite a bit of water and fire. We have earth and air too. So all the elements covered, but whoa, I'm telling you, I, I love this. Cause again, the nine is like, you've almost arrived. The 10 is you're there. So I'm telling you, whoever it is, that you attract here is going to fill your love tank to the brim. No doubt about it. And I feel like they're almost falling all over themselves. But they've got that Queen of Swords. We'll talk about them in a, a minute. They, they go to any length. But again, they've got that Queen of Swords that still makes them respectable, okay? This is not somebody that you're going to go, oh, God. You know, they're just a puddle here. Or they're too desperate. I just feel like they're really moved by you. So with that Nine of Cups, that's high vibrational love. It's high vibrational energy. And it is an energy too. And you may be, it may be vice versa that you do a lot of things for them too. It is not codependent though. This is very much reciprocal. And with that Ten of Cups, it's a happy family card. It's celebration. It's harmony. And it's people around you loving this relationship. There's not somebody that's going to tell you later, oh God, I knew it wasn't, you know. It's, people are going to say, where in the world did you find this person? You two are a perfect match. Fits like a glove. That's what they say. Now with the Six of Wands, that's a fabulous card in a love reading. That Six of, of Wands is happiness. It's beauty. It's achievement. Um, you know, it's it's actually a, a parade, all right? But with that, um, with that Six of Wands, it's a, it is a card of saying that you're going to have an abundant life, abundant love, and it's truly being one of the happiest times of your life. So this person will definitely dote on you, like I said, but I feel like it's reciprocal and there's a, it's a complete match. You have somebody very compatible coming in with this energy. Now, if you're single, you may get a lot of attention for a while with that six of wands. Um, and I'd allow that just to uplift your energy. I wouldn't, if it's not the right person, I would avoid just trying to, you know, get that sort of pang of sadness, like, oh, they're not it. Don't worry, there's 8 billion people out there. You're manifesting this person and they're manifesting you. So the, talk about high vibrational energy. They have the sun, the queen of swords, and the page of cups. I really like this. Now the sun is synergy. That is absolutely attracting somebody who is a match. It is a new lease on life. They are going to want to yell it from the rooftops that they love you. And with that energy of the sun, it's one of the only other cards. There's only two that have the sunflowers. And it indicates a vibrational attraction. It's a magnetism. And so when the sun is out, you see these wavy rays that indicate high vibration. 
The sunflowers point towards the sun, but when the sun goes down, they point towards one another because their energy is already connected. So with this, through the sun, by the way, um, with this, it's an openness. And so this person will know immediately. They will feel a connection with you immediately. Um, I do feel like they have a great big smile. I've loved their, whoever this is, their teeth are beautiful. Um, they're white and straight and pretty and handsome and whatever else. Whoever it is, they've got a great smile. But with this sun energy too, it's warm. So whoever this is, it's, uh, and I love, Leos are warm. I think I've mentioned this. I'm an Aries sun and I absolutely adore Leo in my day-to-day -day at work, at the gym, people that I meet, you can always tell. So, um, it, you know, again, it might be a fellow Leo that you're attracting, but with that queen of swords, they know who they are. And that's also the widow of the tarot. So they may have been through some challenging things in their lives, but they've learned from it. They have, and if they have a difficult past, a family of origin issues or other issues, I feel like with that queen of swords, they don't repeat that. They, they are so grateful to not be in that and appreciative of everything the universe has to offer. They will, however, it may be somebody who's very intelligent too, by the way, that's also the card of the lawyer. So if they do something in the legal field, that may be a part of it. But I, I feel like too, they may be some type of a, somebody who communicates, whether it's some kind of instructor or teacher or gives a lot of presentations for work, or even like a realtor who has to show houses and be knowledgeable and be able to speak to people and follow up in emails. They're really good with that. They have very good follow through. So you're going to find with this person, you have you you may find that you feel very safe with them because they say what they are going, you know, they do what they say. They don't just talk. So with that page of cups, it is a beautiful empathic soft energy so this person even though i feel like they may be quite professional and have quite uh it's almost like there are not two sides exactly i, I mean now i'm kind of pulling in gemini aren't i but it's like they know when to be serious and professional and when to be that page of cups and they might do it a little bit at work if they have clients they may do nice little things for their clients uh, they show appreciation easily it's wonderful. They've got a great energy. And with that page of cups, they may be very spontaneous. So look out for that. Um, they're ready. They know when to play and when to work. But it's also, too, somebody who can be very gentle. Then, like I said, they're very empathic. So they're able to pick up and read people's emotions pretty easily and in, in kind respond. So you may find that they really read you very well and that they're, they kind of match the energy. So with the advice here, the King of Pentacles is a partner for life, just by the way. And the Eight of Pentacles shows a commitment. It shows unity, bringing things together. And of course, with that wonderful Ace of Wands, there's chemistry, but this is also, too, a new beginning. It's a new love story. Now, this can be an olive branch being offered. You, you do have with the Page of Cups, I wouldn't rule out reconciliation because the Page of Cups can also be an ex coming back. And I know we didn't really dabble on that because it just feels, it feels spicy, like it's something new and exciting. But with this Ace of Wands, um, it, it is an absolute energy of action, taking action. And so you'll find that as you commit, you may find, especially with that eight of pentacles, you like move in together sooner than later or get, you know, start making plans for a future plans for if even a, I could even see somebody doing like a cross country move. It feels big. So with the, um, the king of pentacles, this person too, may be very financially stable or the two of you together that shows wealth. And so as you combine your incomes, you might like the result of that. Uh, the two of you with this King of Pentacles energy. It's very solid though, especially in terms of communication, being able to talk easily, make plans for the future, follow through on them with this. And so I would say, yes, it's absolutely in the cards for you here, Leo. Let's see now. We are going to do a Whispers of love oracle card reading to see about attracting love. All right, what does Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus need to know about love in their lives, please? Advice for Leo about love. Okay. Okay. 
All right, the first card that you have here is be supportive, all right? And that's actually in the past. Your current situation, you've got a spiritual connection. In the, the future, practice compassion. So this is an interesting, these are interesting cards, but I really do love them. So this first one, make a genuine effort to show you care. So in the past, you may have learned from previous situations, or if it's a reconciliation, and there was a bit of feeling for, um, taken for granted or just being more of an option than a priority. There may be something to this, all right? Um, but I do feel like with this, you've learned, and it may even be past relationships you had where you kind of take what you want and leave the rest and, and can bring it into a new relationship. So not the resentment and the other stuff like that, but the good parts of it saying, I want that again, but here's the rest of, of what I'm looking for. Spiritual connection, a relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. So I wouldn't be surprised at all about that because the energy here is so strong and vibrant with the energy of the sun. It's like you're meant to be together. And then in the future, so you're manifesting each other. You've got practice compassion, see things from a fresh perspective. So especially for reconciliation people, this is so important. Love is energy. It's never created or destroyed. We just get in and out of alignment. And our minds, our personalities, they start taking the wheel and making decisions. So I do feel like, too, even in a new relationship, this is going to be important just to be having that open-mindedness and seeing love, seeing this person as your soul would see them. But it is in the cards for you, Leo. I love you. And I'll be back again soon.